You are welcome to Fence Educational Center. I'm Mr. Mwakon, one of the tutors at Fens, F I N N Educational Center. Uh, today, I want us to look at another aspect of matter. We normally see that that is a challenge to students. We call it MOL. M O L E. So we are going to treat MOL. And then we we'll look at how to calculate mole and then Avogadro's constant. I know most of you or some of you might have heard of Avogadro's constant. We'll look at that one. So that is our world for today. We are learning to understand or know more. And then we are learning to calculate more. And then we are learning to calculate Avogadro's constant. So I'll start with more. I'll start with more. One advice I give to my students is if you really want to understand the um, language of science, then you don't have to um, play with Latin because the Latin word for mole is heap. And most of the scientific words, or most of the science terms, were gotten from Latin. Their roots are in Latin. So, what the first thing I want you to put at the back of your mind is mole means, or in Latin means hip. Now, let's try to define mole. Let's try to define. I know most of you can define this. You can give me the, 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 the long sentence. But can we break it down and understand? Let's break it down and understand. What I want you to do is look at this. In our primary schools, in our cages, we have what we refer to as a seesaw. And today we are going to look at a seesaw. I hope I got the name right. One person sits at the left side and then one person sits at the right side. And then you play a seesaw. So this is like a tabletop seesaw that I want us to look at. We are going to use it to explain what mole is. What brought about this seesaw? In the lab, in the olden days, if you want to measure, if you want to measure compounds, they were doing the measurement in atoms. Don't forget that we've looked at atoms, smallest particles, smallest particles. So if you want to measure, if you want to do any lab work, then the measurement was done in atoms. Now one key thing I want to give to you is, if I make a dot like this, you can count about 2 million, 2 million atoms. Just a dot, you can count about 2 million atoms. So if you are in the lab and you want to just fix yourself, uh, lab salt, salt in the lab, sodium chloride, and you need just a teaspoonful, you may be adding sodium chloride, I mean sodium chloride, you may be adding about 3 trillion sodium to about 5 billion chlorine atoms. And that's, that's huge. So there was the need to look for a new way of measuring substances or compounds. It was because atoms or using atoms as a way of measurement was cumbersome. That is why scientists sat down and then they looked at a new way of measuring substances and then they developed what we call more. Now, this is what happened. There was an element that scientists or chemists knew a lot about and that element was carbon so i want to be specific and say that carbon 12. now what scientists did was to measure 12 grams 12 grams so they took the balance the chemical balance and measured 12 grams of carbon 12 and put it at one side of the seesaw don't forget this is my seesaw and the moment you put it at one side of the seesaw, because the mass there or the weight is greater 
than this side, you see this side coming down. Now, the next thing that the scientist did, or the chemist, was to put atoms here. And these are my atoms. These are my atoms. Now they put atoms here so they realized that this seesaw was balanced. So the moment you are using this seesaw on the pack and then you realize that it is balanced, it means whatever that is here is equal to what is here. So I can bring an equal to sign here. Which means whatever that is on the right hand side is equal to what is on the left hand side. And I will say that this contains number of atoms. Good. Now, this is the experiment that led to this, the discovery of more. The moment they got this, the moment they got atoms that were equal to 12 grams of carbon 12, everything inside this was called more. In the Latin word, it means heap, which means a heap of atoms. So if you want to define mole, don't memorize. Don't memorize. It's simple. Just look at this diagram. What is here? Number of atoms. So you can say number of atoms. And then the next thing there, whatever that is here is number of atoms. The next thing here is equal. Equal to 12 grams of carbon 12. I think that's easy to, to, to remember. Number of atoms equal to 12 grams of carbon 12. Number of atoms equal to 12 grams of carbon 12. So mole, its Latin name, is heap. So actually, mole is a heap of atoms. And once that number of atoms or the heap of atoms is equal to carbon 12, that's it, we get a mole. Okay, you should note this about mole. The symbol. Scientists find it difficult to write long essays. Scientists don't write a lot. So they look for symbols to represent long words. So mole, instead of writing mole, you see scientists using N. N, small letter N. And then the unit. The unit for mole is M-O-L. Mole without E. The unit is mole. So example is 0 0.5 mole. Good. So I need you to note this. Now, once we know the definition or we understand how we got mole and We've also gotten the symbol and the unit. We need to move on to how to calculate for more.